feeling quite drained because you know this is our fifth week of doing the show and I think like in the fifth week you have to swing at things you start on time and nothing will happen I got the system down and then guess what big thumbs down I'm having just the hardest time as my first fucking week <laughs> but I'm doing good I have my blue moon like this is pretty much just like have some good food on the side, you know what I mean? Yeah, so like, check this out. This is what uh, Spend One, one of the sponsors, B-Boy Spot, Spend One says, Epicenter wouldn't be Epicenter if it started on time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Spend. There you go, Spend. That's what's the deal. Yo, so you know what? Let me just get right into this. Snappity snappadoo, snapparoo, snapparoo. Okay, so I'm going to do this. We're going to look at this painting. Rakim. The R. You know, my man Manny from TBB, who does the life, life, like, look, it looks like real life painting. You know what I mean? And guess what? This is up for raffle. It's 38 by 28, right? And it could be yours for five dollars. And like Manny was saying, it's like close to a close to a thousand dollars in value price. So check this out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to my PayPal, right? And I'm gonna repost this, and I'm gonna retweet this, and I'm gonna repost it. So, but if you're tuned in right now. It's you could have a thousand dollar painting for five dollars. Five dollars in the raffle. So what you have to do. What we're going to do is raffle it off. What you're going to do is basically send uh, your $5 raffle donation to Rob Nasty. That's R-A-W-B-N-A-S-T-Y 1208 at gmail.com. Go on that PayPal account and put in your $5. We're going to look up your email and then we're going to put them all into this bucket. Right? And then we're going to put all the names and then we're going to draw it next week on the show. So... And you know that five dollars, that five dollars is gonna help me pay rent <laughs> and and run a better show, cause you know I keep I want to keep doing this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's an eight. It's a thirty. It's a thirty-six by twenty-eight painting. It's pretty big. Let me let me let me show that again. Yeah. Show it. Oh. Yes, yes. And let me show. You know what? Let me get into some work that he did, like. Uh, yeah. He got to some other work he showed me. Sorry, I'm really close to uh, Let's see. That's a beautiful painting. It is a beautiful oh, painting. Right. It, no, he did another one. Rock he him. did this. He did this one of me. <laughs> Yo. That's my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he did one of Yo, Rock this guy shirt. is mad talented. He, like, he does everything himself from photo. Um, he actually is working one of Squid right now. I'm going to show that a little later, but I'm going to come back to us. Um, yeah, so that Rock Kim painting is a pretty big painting. It can go into your room. You know, you can frame it, but for five dollars. So that's R A W B N A S T Y. Rob Nasty one two zero eight at gmail.com. Look up that PayPal account, and you know we're gonna we're gonna raffle next week. All right, and we're gonna to talk to Manny a little bit later 
Once again, my apologizing, and I apologize every week for starting the show late. So we're gonna get, I guess we're gonna get into our first battle. Yeah, we're gonna get, we didn't have a battle of the week last week. We had like a lot of things going on that was pretty good. Who? Coco? Okay. Yeah, we had a lot of things that uh, were going on last week. Did we have last week again? Oh yeah, we, uh, oh we had a special treat last week for those people that were still watching <laughs> after we stopped archiving it. And we'll probably be doing that just a few Oh, we're recording years. now. For some reason, we were recording. Thank you, Ustream, for recording us <laughs> we're, we're, right we're, 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 we're recording now. Check this out. Isn't that funny? Right when we mentioned that we're not recording, they start recording. Why? Because they want us to see us do karaoke. For those special guests out there, they, people that were tuned in after we stopped recording, we did Bobby Brown's My Prerogative. <laughs> so, I mean, you don't know. We're having a few more beers. We'll see what's going on. Yeah, drink, my, you know what? You know what? Dr just drink with us. Like, yeah, just, you know. Rob is gonna like he has like a nerve. Let's like pounding <laughs> right here. Let's 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 play. He's gonna blow right. up, son. Let's, He's gonna be covered in blood. Everyone out there, let's tr let's play a drinking game, right? Let's let's play let's a, drink play a drinking game. Okay, yeah, I agree. Let's so, play a drinking game. So check game. this out. Get your vodka, your 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 Jaeger, whatever you got out there. You know, beer, whatever. So every time we say B-Boy, everyone just <laughs> I like takes that. a drink. I like that. Good like swig. That. Everyone in this room right now, every time we say, every day we say B-Boy. Okay, and if, if, if it's not, if you don't, if you're not drinking, if you got a blunt, go ahead and take a little token. You know. <laughs> every yeah, time but we, we can't say smoke inside because nah, yeah, but the mistress, uh, my landlady, is going to get mad if we smoke indoors, so we go so check outdoors. Us out. And trust me, when we play this clip, it's pretty long, so and I'm going to take my break and, and then come back. And out there, every time we say B-Boy, don't smoke crack. <laughs> <laughs> You know Yo, I'm it's saying? a party, and yes, yes, yes. Don't smoke crack. Right? So we're going to go into our battle of the week clip, which is... Well, since we have our man J-Rock from Style Elements, we are going to watch Battle of the Year 97. 97, 97. Rock versus Style Elements, a very influential battle for everyone across the world. Check it out. We are going. Sorry, again, we're experiencing technical difficulties with the stream. We're going to continue with the show anyway. We're just setting up. Yo, that, that battle looks really dope. We're gonna actually watch it again with Jay when, you know. We're actually gonna come back.
Yo, uh, sorry guys, we're setting up for the interview right now. Again, we exp we experience problems all the time. So again, check out that painting by Manny. Check, check. Donate your five dollars, and maybe we could have a better show for you. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Smith. <laughs> all right. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Let's uh, have a seat. We're gonna make this real. How we sounding, Mandy? Good. Okay, let's bring it back. Yep. Yep. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back to J Rock. Hi! <laughs> We're coming live from the other side of the room. Well, this is actually. Uh, <laughs> What's up? What's yo, up? yo, What's yo. What's up, people out there? What's going on? Yo, so this is. San Jose. Sorry, Rock. Go ahead, talk. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, so, J Rock is actually our. our Basically, the Rob Nasty's cornerstone selection for this week, because yes. Rob Nasty, basically Rob Nasty's cornerstone is always about uh, bringing in OGs and pioneers who made a difference in the b-boy culture and the b-boy community internationally. So that's why we have Mr. B-boy J Rock Style Elements crew. crew Give it up, crew, everyone! Crew. Give him a yeah. hand. Give J Rock a hand. Yeah. Sir. So, you know, being a b-boy, <laughs> what, just because I say b-boy? <laughs> questions right on the spot, or? Yes, yes, I'm freestyle. I'm totally freestyle. Yeah, we freestyle. Just like how b-boys freestyle. Hey, what, what's up? Everyone there, okay. There was like three or oh, four b-boys. Oh, real quick, okay. I was going to say that I'm trying this pumpkin beer. Yeah, me too. And it tastes like uh, Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So that was like four b boy b boys we just said. So yeah. Oh five? That was five b boys. That's six b boys. Seven b boys. Eight b boys. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's all good. Little Moose is watching. Don't don't worry about like. He's gonna drink a beer too. Don't worry about drinking beers. Wait till you're 21. Even if your friends say hey, drink a beer at 16. Don't. Because you have a bright future ahead of you. Nah, this is U.S. Room Hoops. He lives in San Diego. How old were you when you were first drinking beer? Honestly? Honestly, I had my first beer at 27. I swear. <laughs> a punk. I swear. <laughs> first beer I was at 15. 27. I, I was fif 15 and the beer was Keystone. Hey, hey. See, I remember my first beer. It's a piece of cheer, but it was so did you, were you, were you, you were already turned on to b-boying at that point, right? When you had your first beer? No, not yet, not until 17. Not until 17. I was a b-boy when I was like six, seven years old, but no, I wouldn't really call that being a b-boy. We were all break dancers yeah, in, in the 80s, like in like, what, like 1983, 84? Yeah, I was still a break dancer, like the older brothers from San Jose and his friends did it, so I just copied. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, I knew some stuff, but I, I didn't consider I think we're watching J-Rock right now. The audience is watching. I think we're watching. What are we yeah. going on? We're watching, we're watching a clip at the same time. We're watching the oh, bit. Yeah, the bow of the air where you're on there. So, so like back in the 80s, did you yeah, do like, you. did you, did you pop, did you pop, did you pop into your, uh, your footwork or pop into a windmill and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. I did popping and breaking together. <laughs> there used to be these old, um, public access shows that my mom had, her friend did it and I would go on there and I would be like five or six years old and they would say, oh, how long you been break dancing? And I would go like. I swear to God, I go, oh, I've been break dancing for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, back then. I would, popping, I would do this. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Damn, you catch so, that? So, yeah, you catch that? So, yeah, I, I used to do all that. It was all mixed together. Yeah, yeah, that's how it was like, you know, like, what was your first move, like, in the 80s? Was it, like, uh, a centipede? We, now it's called a worm, but I call it a centipede. Or we, I learned it as a centipede back then. Honestly, I think I did a lot of, I had a lot of footwork, actually. Really? I had a lot of, like, six step. Like, I had a circle, I would go in a circle, and that was pretty much it. So do you remember uh, Sidewalk from back then? Um, I have, like, uh, a couple of little glimpses like I remember something like from the Chuck E. Cheese battle I was actually there oh, nice. oh shit you were but there did, yeah I didn't actually Damn. see the, I didn't see the battle but I was training I was practicing with them up on the top second floor of Chuck E. Cheese and I was like oh I remember that hey we should let him in break with us and then I didn't get to see the battle. My mom took me home because it was so crowded. I didn't get to actually see it until actually later. In but the you 90s. were there. Yeah, but I was there though. Yeah. That's crazy, cause like, yeah, I was like, you know, watching that video was like definitely influenced. I think in the Bay in the early '90s, like once people got a hold of that tape, I think 
you know, it influenced like Elmer, and then of course Elmer influenced like Jazzy J, and you know, the list goes on off of like what Sean Ortiz and them were doing and stuff. So, um, how how was it uh, coming back to you in the early '90s? Like, like uh, was someone doing it? Like, how did you see it back in the early '90s again? All right, check this out. So honestly, living in San Jose, the West Side, it was is either going to be a gangster or I mean, I don't know, Graph Writer, which is cool, but I can't write for shit. Or it was going to be, I don't know, we were just watching TV one day, me and my cousin Flea, and Beat Street came on, and we kind of just remembered it. So we just started trying it, just fucking around, like just seriously just messing around and not knowing anybody in the city was breaking. And we all started doing it, then we ran to Rab, my boy Rab, just down the street. We saw him walking, we were walking, we saw him, he was uh, breaking with his cousin on a cardboard in the middle of the street. All, all in the same neighborhood. It was just like perfect timing. Yeah. That's crazy, cause like back in the day, uh, the crews that we remember from the early '90s was like, of course, Jughead Tribe, um, 3D, yeah. which is a. Uh, so we gotta get this like. So we're from the west side of San Jose, so we found out that like a lot of the east side of San Jose has, has, has breakers, B boys, um, E Rock, E Rock, Jughead. Hold on, I'm gonna take a drink. Because <laughs> he said. Oh, he B said, boy. Oh, he, oh, said, he said, B said. Oh, Rob said B boy. He said B boy. Hold okay. On. All right, he said B-Boy. Okay, here we go. There was like um, there was like a, a hip-hop cruise or a dancing cruise, Dangerous Image. Yeah, yeah, Dangerous Image, yeah, D.I., B-Set. Uh, we used to battle uh, my man Greg here, here the Panda Greg. This guy, he was uh, our, in our OG crew back in the uh, 91. He used to battle V-Set all the time, too. He was the, like, because V-Set was a little I remember when Greg and kid. Profo battled J-Rock and Donnie. And then, <laughs> 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 that, was, that was some Hank Lopez right there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. What year was that? That was uh, 97. Yeah, yeah, 97. No doubt. That was, 97. Yeah. That was crazy. Uh, yeah, pretty intense. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> that was an intense battle. It was. That was like so. That's like what, like ninety-seven. I was gonna say something about like the battles back then. Um, like when we battled, we didn't care about like the judges, like how everybody does yeah. now. Yeah. Like, we just if we lost, we lost. And everyone comes up to you and asks you know, all the time, like, oh, how, why did I lose yeah, yeah. or what did I lose? What does it, what does it matter? Just you lost. I mean, this is what we think. Don't just go back home and practice. Yeah. Yeah, we were looking more forward to battling somebody than even winning. It's like, oh, yes, style him as we got him. Let's go get him. You know? So, and if you lost, you just went home, you watched the footage, and then you just go back and practice again. Yeah. Like, there goes J Rock again in the clip right there. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Bam. Yeah, I can't oh, do the, with the toe grab. I can't do those no more. I can't do those no more. But, uh, I could, I could. Yeah. <laughs> nah, see, that's, yeah, it's true. Because, like, back in the day, it was like, it wasn't even like, yeah, we didn't care about winning. Because there was no, like, the prize was like, whatever, maybe a trophy or something like that. It wasn't The money wasn't, like, really that big. It was just really about, like, I hope we get a good crew to battle. Instead of, like, just, like, okay, we battle some whoever, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was about the trophy and <laughs> just being, like, the best in, like, the Bay Area, I think. What's funny is because, like, uh, my first B-Boy competition was with Greg here. And we battled, uh, we lost to Scooby and his partner. Scooby and this little dude. I don't know if y'all remember. Yeah. Was he, in was he in Jughead's yet? I think maybe he was in Jughead. Scrappy. <laughs> Scrappy. Scooby Scrappy. And guess what? They're not Mexican. No, just kidding. <laughs> Scooby's real Mexican. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, Scooby, where you at, man? I miss Scooby, dog. I don't know where he's been at, but he fucking he makes Scooby, today. Scooby has another kid, didn't he? Oh, man, we're going to go some Right. <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't hey, this is the other kid. <laughs> we, we say whatever, not just B boy. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, hold, hold, hold up. Oh, B boy, B boy. Okay, here we go. Right. Oh, Rob just said the word too again. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> yeah, like back to like. Yo, some can you guys grab your beers off the table because eventually you're gonna pan back? And, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, um, yeah, yeah, what are you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say, like, you know, more like San Jose history. Um, who else did we want to know about you, though. Like, like the whole thing is, like, you had a very unique style off of everyone. Actually, style elements, like, well, the earlier Floor Rocker style was very, definitely very footwork oriented. And I think you guys were the first ones to, not the first ones, because there was another crew called Concrete Rockers in the early, in 93, that they, they stepped upon footwork. But you guys around 95 really concentrated on footwork and stuff like that then towards when you got in style elements you guys started getting into like you know different things like threads and stuff like that so and you were definitely known as someone that did what you guys call spider style right or what'd you call it 
I uh, really have no name for it. Um, like I said, I was just kind of doing all that stuff just because of my body type before style elements. But when I saw, I saw them at a club one time, and I saw Remind look kind of like similar, and it was just like I kind of just vibed off them. But before all that, like I think Poe was on here like a few weeks ago, and he was pretty much explaining like a lot of this how we met and um, just vibing off each other. But the original Flow Rockers, we learned from Romeo and uh, Sidewalk. Right, right. And he always told us like we were we were very blessed to just break like a real like what a real b-boy should be what a real b-boy should be because we, we would tell him like yo we're getting clowned by everyone's doing head spins on their helmets with the helmets and they're doing flares with no no shoes like what do we do and like he said that's not breaking you know, that's you know, yeah, it's, like, you know, it's filipinos with long bangs just doing flares yeah. sock rocking it. yeah so he's all you guys all you guys you know you watch these rock steady new york city breakers you watch you know what i'm saying you learn so hey yo what are you guys talking about we're talking. Wait, this is our show, and you're not even paying attention. Are you talking about this B boys? Is like a B boys show, yeah. B boys. <laughs> that's why I said it. That's why I said. That's why I said. Yeah. That's why I said. That's why I said. So everybody, everybody so, drink. So everyone would just kind of hate on us because we had footwork, and we would lose a lot. And we thought we, why do we, we you know, we suck. Everyone's beating us with, you know, like I said, with flares and head spins and stuff. But if you go back and look at that footage, like. And now if you re-judge it, like, we're freaking smashing people, dude. Like, it was, it's a trip. But back then, like, the mentality, like, we lost. We didn't even know any better. Well, because everyone was doing something else, and you thought you were doing it wrong, but... Because well, that's the way they were doing it, and we didn't know any better. But we knew that what our teachers were telling us was right, but to the other people, it didn't seem it wasn't right. Like, it was, e it was easy. Oh, that's too easy. You're just doing footwork and freezing and shit. So... Well, oh, how, how things have changed. <laughs> nah, but I remember the name Romeo back then, too. Like, back, like, in the early 90s. And, like, just hearing of Sidewalk and just other older b-boys from the 80s talk about Romeo from Sidewalk and stuff. Like, he was the guy with the big hair in the in the clip? No, Romeo, he's the one that looks like Crazy Legs and he's got those black speedos. Okay, yeah, that's the thing. If you have to check out the Sidewalk video, like we said on the Pose, uh, in Pose interview, check it out. Uh, it's under the YouTube, under the Mighty Four. Yeah, it's under Mighty Four. And um, a lot of people very get confused of that tape because a lot of people thought it was actually Rocksteady. Yeah, no, we thought it was Rocksteady, but then we we're like, yo, Crazy Legs crazy like got flares and Ken Swift got like head swipes and stuff like that, but it was both basically Sidewalk versus Sidewalk, right? Yeah, so it's kind of hard to explain. So the people that weren't in the Speedos, um, they were not the original Sidewalk. The other oh. guys were original Sidewalk, and they had a manager, and they wanted the manager kind of wanted them to like be exploited and blow them up. Yeah. But they're like, nah, we just want to break. And the other guys, he so he's like, okay, I'm gonna grab the, some of the best guys from San Jose and put them together, kind of like how they did New York City Breakers. And so that's pretty much what it turned out to be. And they got mad, like, yo, you guys. That's crazy because they did look like Crazy Legs and the New York City Breakers. Like we thought, dang, they got over like a few years. It's like their power moves and their style. Like they they had the same style, but their power moves were like on another level because they were doing like one guy's name was Cyclone, right? And he was doing like Flare 90, and then the other guy was Roach, I think. Maybe he was doing like a, a flip or something like that. I forgot the names, but it was like one guy was wearing red tights, yeah, I think. The guy in the red tights' name is Robert Laredo. And yeah, he does the one that does the Flare 90s and the Halos yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. He always reminded me of Ruin. Like when I saw Ruin starting to get better, I'm like, dang, he's like Robert Laredo. But um, it was just, it was just crazy. Um, they did look like New York City and Rocksteady kind of combined. Fine. But that's the only videos footage that they had. So imagine the only two videos taped that you had, just those two crews, and then kind of elevating your your game, but like West Coast style. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of. That like, sounds like a B boy. <laughs> <laughs> Drink. Rob Nasty signing up. Nah, because like I t we always, uh, me and Greg and like a lot of the Rock Force guys, when we first saw uh, that tape, it definitely changed the bay. Because it was like the main thing is like when that guy did that flare 90, it was like, okay, then like, you know, Elmer thought, okay, headspin, flare, headspin. And then I know Jay was like, flare 90, flare. You know what I mean? Like it was like the evolution of that, just that guy in the red tights. You know what I mean? Like he flipped everything. Because like the first time we seen Sean Ortiz, like at a jam, we're just like blown away. You know what I'm saying? Like, that whole video, I can call any West Coast b-boy that's from this area, I can point out what they got and what they did with it. Like, I really can't. Like, me from everybody. It's crazy because even, like, some of the stuff of, like, the early, like, 
like what kind of Crumbs does, like some of the guys in there do, and this is 1985, right? Crumbs is very inspired off of, um, he had like a, r a black and red jacket. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I, ta I know who you're talking about yeah. in that video. Yeah, his name is Junior Cardone. Cardone. Okay, yeah, I've heard Junior Cardone. I didn't know that was Junior Cardone, yeah. but I've heard his name. Cardone. So he was very unorthodox in that tape, and he, uh, Crumbs got a lot of inspiration from him. Because he was like doing pull throughs, pulling it up, and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Baby, and that's what Cody you know, got the idea of like, right, right. Like I said, that tape is like never ending. You can always learn something from that tape. So, why don't you, uh, like, for those people out there in uh, Epicenter Land that don't know, talk about uh, the crew members and uh, Floor Rockers because, like, you know, these are guys like, there's like, you mentioned Flea, and there's the original Flea Rock, as Poe mentioned, which is kind of crazy because he looks kind of like Flea Rock of Skill Methods, which, but then Flea Rock from your crew was like, what, that was like 95. Yeah, 95, 96 with my cousin uh, Flea Rock. We got John Boy, Hector Rockwell, we got Rab, we got Drifter, we got Sway, which went to Renegades after. Everybody remembers Sway. Yeah, everyone remembers oh, I Sway. I love Sway, man. Yeah, he was a dope B Boy. Yo, I love Sway, yo. <laughs> oh, okay, B Boy, yo, drink. Yo, drink. Point out this uh, fun fact. The one of the best of the best has best of the best uh, four. Sway brought his own James Brown records to the jam, to the battle. Oh wow, and that so that was like kind of the first time because there was a lot of electro like Planet Rock and stuff like that. So he was the one that was putting the James Brown on. Planet Rock, high energy, and we didn't know we didn't know shit. We just went to the jam, whatever the DJ played, we we danced. Sway brought every time we battled, we're like, why yo, why is he getting James Brown? <laughs> and now it's the standard. Yeah, now it's the standard. But he brought the actual record to the jam. Like, yo, tell the DJ spin that for me. All right, I'm gonna put this here in the epicenter too, cause like, all right, check this out. Well, the first time I saw Rabbit, he did these uh, back swipes or these uh, these head swipes. I call them I call them rabbits. No, check this out. I still want to try and find out where this Trouble. where this move comes from or who who made that move up. The, the, the taps. Yeah, the taps. we call we call them egg rolls. So no, but there was a way that Rabbit did it. There's a way. He did it. He did it like tucked in. His neck was tucked in. Yeah, there's a way Rab did it. Rab did it, but um. I don't know, really know how he, it was kind of like an accident. He watched, we had, like I said, the Battle of the Years, right. like Storm and Emilio and Emilio. Emilio, yeah. Yeah, Emilio had some dope taps. So either he tried to copy it or he just ended up continuously spinning, which is kind of, I think, that he kind of elevated it to like a different. Here's the debate though. So I heard in Florida, they're called Henry's. And Henry is a uh, B-Boy Troll. I don't know if you heard of B-Boy Troll. He's one of the OG uh, Florida Did you say B-Boy? Yeah, I did. Twice, twice. So Troll, um, he's a Zulu king right now. He's one of the he taught street masters. That's where Elmo's from and Tails and you know like you know they influenced Flipside. But they call that move and when Luigi does it too, and they call it Henry's. But I the first time I saw it was Rabbit. So the debate is who came up with the first? Was it Troll, Henry, or was it Rabbit? So that's... Uh, are we just talking about the, the, when he spins? Or are we talking no, about no, the, 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 the neck. Well, it, not the tap part, but the neck. Go, going to the neck and tucking under. Tucking under? Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen anyone else do it. Well, they say that, you know, Troll did it. Well, you got footage, then... That's all I'm saying. I know that there's step-up footage of Rabbit doing yeah, it. Yeah, we got rap footage of Rabbit doing it, so if they got it, put it up. Man. All right, so we got, that's Rob, you know, give us the signal to wrap it up. I could go on forever, really. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, I know, I know. Night. What's up? B-Boy. No, we, we, yo. <laughs> yo, oh, B-Boy. Okay, here we go. Now done. Done. In the zone. Why are this we done? Is done. <laughs> I know, right? No, no, I, I do have another one back here. That's, that's for the next time. <laughs> after our break. After our break. So let's uh, let's go to a break right now. All right. Well, all right, everyone, at Epicenter, give it up for J Rock and Style Elements. Yo, we're gonna have you back, J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're have not you back. Done. Like there was so much, there was so much gems in this interview right now. We didn't, we didn't even get into the '90s. We got kind of like '85 yeah, touch. Yeah, we were like yeah. 92, 93. We didn't even get to the rest of the. Yeah, no, we didn't. We're, yeah. We're gonna, Maybe guys, we're, I can come we're back. We're gonna in a continue. While. You know, we're gonna After continue. More, like. Uh, pumpkin <laughs> We just have people in line, that's all. Sorry, I don't mean to be you the know party how it foul. Is. B boys be lagging. <laughs> there you go. Alright, B boys, alright. Uh, I ran out of beer, I gotta get another one. So we're gonna go get to this commercial break. We're gonna bring it to my man, DJ Quantum. Yes, we're gonna run this commercials and we're gonna be back from our break. 
with my man Squid between the brakes. Geno! Let's go to that commercial flow. Just uh, it's still on the mind. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hey, B boy, B boy. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's all good, it's all good. We're taking our time. Yo, it's, it's still on you guys, so it's all good. It's <laughs> magic. Hey, check this out, B boy. <laughs> there you go. That's right. This is the epi this is literally the epicenter lounge, like literally. Yes. This literally. is what the lounge looks like. Oh, and we're going on go. break, guys. Going All on right. break. Yeah. <laughs> we're on break. Remember, visit the bboyspot.com. The biggest and baddest. This is the epicenter, October 11th, 2012. My ship is falling apart, but I'm still broadcasting. The revolution will not be televised, but on the interwebs. <laughs> on the interwebs. Take that pee break if you need to, because I am. <laughs> DJ Quantum. Quantum, San Jose Headhunters.
your yeah. daddy, yeah. up in the volume, yeah. up in the speakers. Yeah. 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 Gonna beat your butt, yeah. your eye of gas is still rolling. Cause your mind, these girls are controlling. We should go around my way. And just like this, and you say, okay. You should have known you wasn't gonna make it. Go for a tow truck, somebody taxes it. Now you start going out in Brooklyn. You're in deep the way things are looking. You can't get home cause you live too far. Your cash and ID was back in the car. Now you wish you had driven a duster. But it's too late. DJ Quantum. Once again, the biggest and baddest has restocked your favorite shirts, which is the Bruce Lee and the James Brown edition. You know, you know, you know. So you know what? We're going to go to Manny first because I know he's been waiting. Yo, Manny, you there? DJ Quantum. All right, Kill we're going to bring it back to you. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to bring it to you. Man Deep, how we sounding? How's it sounding? Can you hear anything? What can you hear? Me? That's it? Yeah, no, no, man. Can you hear the music? No. Okay. Manny, say something. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Give me a second, okay, Manny? No doubt. Oh, B-Boy, we got a drink. B-Boy, everyone said he said, he said B-Boy. He said B-Boy, we got ah, a drink. Ah, man, he got a drink, too. I have no beer. Who wants to go on a beer run? <laughs> We're not out. Are we out? We're out. We're out. We're out. Really? Holy yeah, Miles. Can we drink it all? What about my blue moon that's in the fridge? It's gone? <laughs> Yo, Manny, say something real quick. You talking? Yo, what's good out there? Okay. Yes, yes. Yo, Manny, uh, our clip is going to be kind of like crappy, so uh, you just got to talk about, you know, I'm going to just show the picture and you talk about what you talked about in the clip, you know what I'm saying? Right, Nothing good, is though. crappy on the epicenter ever. Hold on, let me do this. Keep saying something, Manny. Yeah, that's good. 
Yeah, so, uh, so let's see who, uh, who gets this rock campaigning, you know what I mean? Yeah, no. You no, know, make a little money for the epicenter, you know what I'm saying? Yes, that way yes. we can start at 8.30 instead of 9 o'clock. <laughs> you know how we do. I think we're drunk and food coma at the same time. We were having a barbecue, son. <laughs> no, I feel you. I feel you. All right, all right, all right. I will, just hold on, all right? I'm going to turn you down, and then we're going to come back, all right? Sounds good, y'all. Yes, yes. Word, so we got to do it crazy, crazy commando style, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These these guys. Who's gonna go? On, who's gonna go on a beer run? Someone has to go on a beer run. Yo, are you on? Exactly. Yo, <laughs> and we're back. And we're Hi. back. We're talking about. Bring it in. Bring it in the mod. We're we're, we're we're not talking about anything we're back. crazy. We're back from commercial break. <laughs> we back. We're not we talking back. about anything crazy. No, we're talking about beer, man. Beer's legal. <laughs> <laughs> We got. We already ran out of beer because we said B boy too many times. B boy. Oh, B boy. B boy. Yo, yes, sir. So, um, who we have right now on the standby in the waiting room via Skype? Waiting room. Via Skype. We got my man, Manny, TBB. He's an excellent, excellent artist. You know what I'm saying? He uh, paints these photorealistic paintings, man, and they, they look excellent, man. So, you know what? I'm going to bring it to my man, Manny. Hold on, hold on. Let me bring, bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. He did dope, dope let me, let me portraits of Rob, me, Venom, a bunch of boxers. Like Casper's, Casper's is pretty dope, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> We're gonna bring it to you in a second. Give, give me a second. All right. Boom. And we have my man. Give it up for Manny, Manny Fernandez. Give it up. TBB, episode. give it up. Everybody clap, man. Eh? God damn it. <laughs> Yo, say what's up, Manny. Yo, what's up, everybody? Much love, yo. Epicenter. You're on point, yo. Even if it's an hour late. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is an hour late. You know, you know how we do. <laughs> Thank you, man. Manny is a is a faithful, faithful viewer to the epicenter, and not just that, you are a the one of the biggest supporters of B Boy out there. I just said B Boy twice. B Boy, okay, B Boy. <laughs> it's funny when the audience like joins in. <laughs> no doubt, that's what it's all about, yo. Yes, sir. So, how did you uh, start actually uh, in your painting career? Yo, man, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm originally from Brooklyn, you know what I mean? So Brooklyn. Where I where I grew up at, you know what I mean? Like it was it was a time where like there was a lot of drugs, a lot of things going on. You know the the hood, you know what I'm saying? Just like anywhere else. But uh, basically, what ended up happening is is my older brother was um, very heavy in, in drug dealing and stuff like that. So my mom wanted to you know kind of protect me and make sure that I didn't go through that same style so uh, a lot of times I'd be you know in the house so for me like I just started drawing man to just kind of you know spend time or whatever and uh, at one point I started doing uh, well not started to but try to do graffiti you know what I mean and uh, wasn't too good at it so <laughs> so what ended up happening was you know my boys you know they laughed at me or whatever so I'm the type of person also that, like, when someone says you can't do something or whatever, like, it just motivates me and makes me work harder. So, I just started drawing, man. Just started drawing, you know, cartoon figures, just a whole bunch of stuff. And throughout the years, I just developed from going from a pencil and a paper to, like, charcoal. And then, uh, and then went into airbrush. And from airbrush, I went into, uh, into acrylics and just kind of came up with my own style. Um, a lot of it was like by mistake, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like planned or whatever, because I was never taught, you know, at school or anything like that. It was all just, you know, just learning on my own. And it's kind of funny because I grew up in the hip hop era. So the same way, like you guys were talking about b-boying and, you know, you had these two tapes and then you grew from that, you know what I'm saying? You had a, 
like be creative and everything, I kind of took the same route with my art, you know what I mean? I did my own thing and started doing my own paints and everything, so just kind of went from there, you know what I mean? So we looking at this uh, Rakim painting right now. Like, you know, the audience is working, looking at it. Can you tell us, like, how long it took you to do this when, I mean, of course, the, the R inspired you, but, you know, can you tell us a little bit about the painting? Yeah, I mean, for me personally, like, I love to do um, artwork about people or things that inspire me. So growing up in hip-hop, like, that was, you know, obviously one of the things, but also, like, I grew up in boxing also, I did some boxing and martial arts. Yeah, I saw that. So that's why, like, in my opinions, you see a lot of people, a lot of these people, but a lot of these people I've been lucky enough to meet and get to know, so, like, the paintings themselves have a different value to me, you know what I mean? Uh, more than money, it's, it's just, like, my way of saying thank you for paving the way and the things they've done. No doubt, The no doubt. campaign itself, like... You know, Rakim's Rakim, yo. To me, like, he's the best MC ever. He's the and god. that's just my opinion, you know what I mean? Everybody has their own opinions or whatever. But to me, he's the greatest ever. And so, like, I wanted to do a dope painting of him and just something that really stood out and, you know, represented him well. Yeah. So that painting itself took me about, probably about 40 hours total. Wow. Um, because it is a bigger painting. Um, if you look at his face and everything, the detail and everything, I mean, I, I, I did take some time to, to, you know, really, really try to come up with the, with the nice painting though. Yeah, his, uh, his, his lyrics are like intricate, just like how, uh, B-Boy does his footwork. <laughs> I said B-Boy. Twice. Oh, B-Boy. Okay, right, right. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear the question, man. He said, he said B-Boy. <laughs> you got to drink too, <laughs> That's the drink. If you, just, if you just joined in, so whenever anyone in the audience or the guests say B-Boy, you have to take a drink. If you oh, he it. just said it. I knew we were going to say that, too. <laughs> he said <laughs> <laughs> you must have ran out of beer already. So, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? so uh, were you always fought like since you were uh, since you were in Brooklyn? Were you always following B Boy, or was it like just recently, like, or within the last ten years you were following it? No, 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 man. Like, like ever since I was a kid, I was I was into uh, into B Boy. You know what I mean? And and when I first saw it, I saw mostly rocking. And oh, then, word. And then, rocking. You know, like, <laughs> Oh, we when, can't take a sip with saying rock it. Some of the other crew started coming out, then you started seeing some other things. But it died, like, out there, it, it died out, then it came back a little bit, died out, came back. You know what I mean? So, it was on and off, but, so like, I was, I was always all into, like, all the elements of hip-hop. Like, from, from b-boying to MC to uh, the DJs, you know what I mean? The graph writers. Like, I was into all of that, you know what I mean? So I was, a, I was always a big fan, and I always enjoyed doing each one. Like, I, I did a little bit of each one, you know what I mean? So um, hip-hop's just, like, it's in me, you know what I mean? It's me. Yo, so um, can you tell us the value worth of, the, of this painting you did? All right, so <clears throat> just to let people know a little bit about, you know, as far as the paintings and how much I personally charge, like, a 16 by 20, which is much smaller than the rock hand painting. I normally do for people for like 250. The rock hand painting, I would easily sell for about a thousand dollars. And if it was in a showing, like an art gallery, which um, November 9th, anybody out in New York, um, there's gonna be an art showing of some of my work out there. And uh, so I'll put some information on that later on, you know what I mean? But it's, uh, if it was in a gallery or something like that, they would easily charge probably between two thousand to to twenty five hundred. Damn, yo, that's what's up. And part of that though is because, for example, if I say I'm going to charge a thousand dollars for a painting, the gallery is going to want half. You know what I mean? So artists. take of it. Right, right, right. I hear that. I hear that. 
Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, uh here, let me let me pass it there. So uh let me tell these people real quick. Um so check this. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we gotta do that again. We got audio again, yes, I know, I know, I know. Okay, let me do that again because I, no one can hear me. So, once again, this, this value price painting of Rakim worth $1,000 at least at art shows but you could get for five dollars and all the proceeds for this raffle and all you have to do is this all you have to do is go to my website paypal website r-a-w-b-n-a-s-t-y-1208 at gmail go to that paypal donate your little five dollars for the epicenter and you could get this painting of a rock him 38 right is that 36 or 38 36 36 by 28 Painting of the R rock him for five dollar five dollars. We're gonna raffle it off, so I'm gonna be posting it all week. You could get this amazing painting for five dollars, you know. And the proceeds go to uh, us paying our rent and having better equipment to bring you a better show instead of all this kind of crap I have to deal with every week. Yeah, you <laughs> Yo, you got any last shout outs before you go? Man, just just shout out to everybody that's uh, that supported me, you know what I'm saying, and everybody that's in the culture, you know what I mean? Uh, much love to everybody. To you guys, man, keep doing what you're doing, and, uh, and whatever we can do. Again, sorry, I cut out. My, my, my thing cut out. Say again. Dude, give your shout out again. Uh, I just want to send a shout out to everybody that supported me throughout the times and then also, you know, everybody in the culture doing the thing. Um, you know, I mean, people are the ones that inspire me. And uh, major shout out to you guys, man. Keep doing what you're doing, you know what I mean? And uh, putting the word out for the culture. Yo, thank you. Maddie, TBB. Yes, sir. We're going to take another quick bake break and we're going to return. Bake. bake. We're gonna take a bake and then return with our Profos pick, Marty McFly. Peace, Manny. Yo, we're gonna take this quick, quick break, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning into the epicenter. This is our fifth broadcast, October 11, 2012. We started an hour late, but hey, join in the party. We're going to keep come back with the commercial break. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Boom, 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 boom. Every time of this, I have to distract you because I'm going to my clip. Going to my clip. Navigation through the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Navigation, navigation... This is the sounds of DJ Quantum while we take this commercial break. There's no sounds of DJ Quantum. Oh, there's no? Oh, what the heck? Oops. So it's time for a Pro Full 1 monologue. For those on the Bay Area Cyber Cypher. I love you guys. <laughs> you guys are so great. We still got no sound? Do we got sound? I'm glad you guys enjoyed our PSAs. You got sound? 
sound. You got sound? Sound in here. Yeah. I don't hear him, bro. Oh, he doesn't hear the DJ. <laughs> hey. It's the Epicenter logo. All right. Okay, now we got sound. We're going to take a quick break. Once again, this is the episode. Tune in every 8 to 10 Pacific Standard Time on Thursdays if we try to be on time. Hopefully with your your support, we could have a better show. Someone should go for a beer run. Miles is a sweetheart. He's going on a beer run. Once again, check out the bboyspot.com. <laughs> you guys are funny. I would go. I would go. Yeah, we, whoever has things to do, we can't go. DJ Quantum, get him! <laughs> Go. See, this is what I'm saying. Everybody's all like 10 second delay and shit. <laughs> Yo, BKNYC made in a Brooklyn basement.
Born Kings NYC. Brought to you by PJ71. Giving a shout out to everyone out there at the Epicenter. Thank you for tuning in to the Epicenter Lounge. Yes, you're watching the epicenter. We're gonna come back in two and two. Yes, sir. Thank you for our loyal viewers who stick around for all our technical difficulties. Thank you! Yes, Danny Dibble will bring beer. Yes, do it. <laughs> Danny Dibble will bring beer. He's the best B-boy, meaning beer boy. <laughs> Oh shoot! Quantum leap. Quantum leap. <laughs> He's on fire! He's on fire! More fire! Drink, guys, drink. Danny Dibble with beer. Bohemian Rhapsody. Man, deep, you're back. Yes, it worked. No, we were thinking about that. I was like, oh, you All right. All right. Okay. Let me do this. Oh, it's so hard. Corner's bringing out the heat. Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. There you go. Say what up. Ah, Bobby, what up? Oh, shit, it's Eddie! 
Yo, we got yo, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, dog. Hold on. We're gonna bring you right back, dog, alright? I'm gonna put the volume down on you and we're gonna bring you on, okay? Alright, cool. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. So we're getting our next guest ready. We're gonna bring it back. We're gonna bring it back. Yo man. Bringing it back, bringing it back. Oh wait, 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 where'd you go? Where'd you go? Stay on there. Stay on there, man. Yo. Yo. And we're back. And we're back from commercial. Yo, Squid, just stay on, bro. Just stay on, man. Just stay on. He's creeping, Squid. Yes, unique styles up in this Once again, piece. you're watching the epicenter. The weekly television. I mean, <laughs> I'm drunk. The weekly <laughs> internet broadcast that brings oh, you the greatest and latest and best b-boy news out there yeah and we coming to you live b-boys that's right drink so the audience has to wait for the rest of the beer so yo if you're just tuning in yo squid i can't see you yet because it's my girlfriend's birthday we had a little barbecue today we had Adobo, barbecue, there you go. chicken, steak. I'm going to turn you up in a second, So squid. since this is a party, we're basically going to do this. Every time the word B-boy is mentioned. You're going to take a drink. Every time you hear swig. the word B-boy, take a swig. That was a sloppy one. That but was yeah. very sloppy. It was <laughs> dripping from my chin. Yes. Yo, so in the house. Hold on, let me set him up. Can you set him up for me? Yes. All the way from... South Florida, one of the other twin B-boys of the Unique Styles crew representing that B-boy spot that between the breaks, my man, my mellow, Squid Rock. Give it up for Squid Rock, everyone. Everyone, give it up. Give him a clap. Give him a clap. Round of applause. Say what's up, Squid. What up, yo? Yo, 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 yo what's Let me up? Bring you up a little we're, oh, we've been, yo, we've been drinking a little bit this whole night, so it's like, uh, yo. don't worry about what we ask. Just answer the questions. <laughs> oh, you know, I, yo, you know, I, you know, we yo, do it. I barely hear you. We, we, yo, we do it at P boy style. You know what I'm saying? You can't hear us. Hold on, hold on, hold Your on. Your beard's me... in the way. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me try to fix. Can you hear me? You can hear me though, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Yo. Okay. okay. Here we'll do this. Okay. Can you hear me though? Can we hear him, Man Mandeep? Can we hear him? Yeah. Okay. We can hear you. Yo. What up? Yo, we getting drunk. <laughs> yeah, I see that, yo. We're getting drunk, we're getting high, it's a good time. There you go. Hey, yo, so, so, so the whole thing about this show today is that uh, we're, every time we say B-Boy, you have to take a swig or a hit of the joint. So, so you got you to gotta go with it. It looks like you're at work right now. It looks like you're at work right now. I'm at the shop right now. I'm at the store that me, Jules, and Eddie are opening up. Nice, nice, man. Oh, so yo, tell us about that. Tell us about that. Oh, there goes Eddie. <laughs> no doubt. So what's up with the store you're opening up out there? Can you guys see that or no? Yeah, we just yeah, saw, yeah, we just we saw, just saw that. that. All right, word, word, word. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about the store, man. Tell us what you're setting up right now. We're setting up the VGSK shop, and it's a uh, yikes! It's gonna be a store. We're gonna be selling urban apparel and supplies and shit, and uh, we're making mad noise because Eddie's like building shit right now inside the fucking store. So that's so, probably the drill you're hearing. And shit. So I'm assuming, yo, <laughs> <laughs> these guys are doing it. Yo, I'm assuming, yo, yo, I'm assuming that you're gonna be selling b-boy spot stuff there, right? Yo, tell guys Eddie are going to stop, at it. bro. Tell Eddie to stop. Just... 
<laughs> you got you're on live right now. We don't need. Can you guys hear me now though? Or what? Yes, we can hear you. Yo. So I said. Hold on, hold on. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So what? So besides B Boy Spot Apparel, what are you gonna be selling at the uh, at the shop? We're gonna be selling. Uh, we're gonna be selling everybody's uh, gear. Really, we're gonna be selling TSB. We're selling, um, of course, my, my magazine between the breaks. We're gonna be selling um, Kenny's brand, uh, Nuff Said. We're gonna be uh, what else? We're selling Bo Fresco, which is DJ Basics brand. Soul Food, um, you know, Yorks stuff. Yeah. No doubt, Taiwan. Here. No doubt, no well, doubt. that's crazy. So this is all experience. If y'all don't know, yo, ladies and gentlemen out there in the epicenter, if you don't know, Squid used to be uh, a manager over at the Workmans in Florida, right? Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I so, used to manage Workmans in Florida. So now, now how is it uh, feeling to open your own store now? Wait, what was that? How does it feel to be opening up your own store instead of working for someone? You're like doing your own thing well, now. It's way better, man. It feels official, you know, especially because it's me and my homies. We're, you know, it's a lot of work, but we're having a good time doing it, you know, so it's dope. It feels really good. So how are you going to juggle? Like, you still work at the factory with Trigger and them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still work 9 to 5, man. You got to so, work 9 to 5. So uh, how are you juggling all that? How are you doing, like, b-boying? And competing, I, I said, I said, how are you gonna juggle b-boying, competing, with uh, running a store, running a magazine, and like, uh, and working at the shop still? Not, you know, not your shop, but you know, your shop, the shop with trigger, b-boying. I, I just don't really sleep. I just try to get everything done, you know. You be, you be snorting cocaine, huh? Don't lie. <laughs> don't lie to me. Just kidding. <laughs> I was trying to put you on the spot, dog. Hello. <laughs> yo, hey, you're hey, yo, 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 yo. In the way. yo. <laughs> you're hey, yo, yo, Squid, you can hear me, right? You can hear me clear, right? Sometimes you're coming in and out. I just heard what you just said right now. Okay. Yeah, cause I'm using the better mic, and I'm putting, yo, yo, we have like a, we're like shipwrecked with like crazy like technical difficulties. And shit. But you know how it is, because we be boys. Yeah, no, that's how it goes. That's always oh. how it goes. Technical difficulties all day. But we still flow with it. Okay, um, yo, um, why don't you talk about a little bit about uh between the breaks? You know what I'm saying? I want to hear about like what was your inspiration for that and like uh how you put it together and what was the process? You know what I'm saying? Between the breaks, uh, it was it was just I wanted to do a zine for a while. And then um, me and David decided to get together and actually do it. And we had been talking about it and talking about it, but you know we weren't putting action to it. And uh, finally, you know we just decided it was time. And uh, we, you know we started going at it. As soon as we decided we were gonna do it, we just started going at it. Um, and everybody started gathering material. I started writing. You know when I went to Brazil, I covered a story out there. And uh, he was traveling and he was covering shit as well. And then we just started gathering the material and. And, uh, you know, and we got together with Tony, who was the first designer, and released the first one. And after that, you know, we, you know, we decided right away we liked it. We, you know, we liked the response that we got from people and, and, uh, we were, you know, we knew we were going to keep doing it. Um, we just, uh, we linked up with Lance once Tony kind of like decided to go his own way. We linked up with Lance and then he started designing, uh, Lance from, uh, Session 31. He oh, word, word. Designed, uh, from the second issue, and then he, you know, he did the latest one, the third one as well. And it's just, it's just, you know, it's it's hard work. Everybody like just sees the finished product, but the whole the whole thing takes a lot of work, and it's a lot of people getting together and you know contributing material and all this stuff. Oh, oh yeah, I know the feeling. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a good time because I enjoy that kind of shit. So you know. Okay. Okay. So if you all don't know out there in Epicenter Land, uh, B-Boy Squid is also a twin. He has B-Boy Namek, who's also busy. Why don't you tell him what Namek's up to? Namek, uh, Namek right now is tattooing full-time at Living Ghost Tattoos in Arizona. And um, that's what he does. He just tattoos. Um, he's been doing it for about, I think, he's going on his third year of tattooing. And he, you know now he has his own spot in the shop. And, uh, and he also has a kid and a wife. 
Sydney and um, you know my little nephew. He's already breaking. He's like two. <laughs> Blessings. Well, he's just doing the you know the family man life and he's tattooing full time, but he still breaks. You know, he went to session with me. You know, he showed up and we did session together and that was pretty dope. We had him battle together in a while, so that that was kind of fun. But um, but he's still breaking and shit. He's just tattooing more. So yo. Do you, uh, are you going to have your brother come in and uh, do stuff at the shop out there at the BGSK shop? Yeah, yeah. He, he's going to be coming out here, I'm sure. He's gonna, probably going to be showing some stuff because the whole plan with the shop is to, um, you know, it's an apparel store. But we're also going to do, um, like, uh, galleries and, and showings of uh, just homies' artwork and stuff. So I'm sure my brother's going to have a spot and we're going to, um, you know, show his artwork. I'm sure he's going to come out here and... Hold on, we're, we're, we we have sounds. Say that again. Say that again. My bad. I say, as far as uh, having jams in the store, the spot's not that big, but we are planning on doing some like concrete jams right in front. Maybe like a footwork concrete battle and shit. Um, we got some stuff, you know, that that we're planning to do. I don't know if there'll be full blown like you know competition jams, but there'll definitely be some parties going on and uh, you know late night type shit. No doubt. Oh, you mean like Slovakia style? Yeah, like Slovakia style. <laughs> <laughs> Profo is not gonna live you down. Live that, let you live that down, man. Yeah, yeah. He saw you get open and free. <laughs> Yo, you know what? We should like, uh, like plan like uh, some kind of jam where like all the twins battle, or not battle, but like a cipher. That would be dope. That would be really dope. You know what I mean? Like each twin like cipher, like a circle, and we just get like 20 minutes and we just go at each other. Yeah, that would be. Really dope. <laughs> we could even do just like brothers and shit. Just get a bunch of brothers to do it. Now we gotta do it twins. We gotta get the job. Nah, yeah, nah, that's like Impact, Villain, you, Namek, me and Rob, three uh, pairs of twins in, in front of your store. Them dudes are nasty. They're twins too. Yeah. Yo, we should do that. We really gotta do that though. Yeah, that should be dope, man. Let me know. I'll do it. No doubt, no doubt. We're about to uh, move on to our next segment, you know what I'm saying? Um, any last shout-outs you want to give? Yeah, yo, big fast shout-out to, uh, uh, first and foremost, uh, Young South Crew, you know, everybody in Florida, my main man, Max, the B-Boy spot, and a big shout-out to everybody in BGSK, you know what I'm saying? Damn, you got a store. <laughs> That's down with especially my boy Eddie at Burns and Jules. Um, everybody down with us on the fam and shit, you know? Definitely uh, between the breaks also. Keep a look out between the breaks. We're uh, the fourth issue probably in January. Keep a look out. No doubt, no doubt. Word up. Let's give it up for my man Squid for being on the epicenter. Let's give it up. Yes, sir. Yo, yes, sir. Yo, Squid is one dope B-boy. Yo, peace out, Squid. Peace. Peace. Yo, so let's get in straight to our next segment. Oh, let's, let's keep it let's, running. Let let's me. take a little bit. Let's take a, a quick break. <laughs> quick break. Quick, like 30 seconds. Everyone's waiting for karaoke tonight. What are they going to sing next? <laughs> what are they singing next? Well, you'll find out. <laughs> We're going to a commercial break, y'all. Let me bring it. Let me bring it back. Don't. 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 Let me bring it back to the sounds of DJ Quantum, 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 Quantum. And let me bring it over here. Bring it over there. What? 
Yeah. No. Talk when when you mean. Quick break. <laughs> oh, I'm out. I got your beer. You sound good, Nandy? Every sometimes it jumps in. Check, between, check, like, check. Like an echo and shit like that. What you do? Right. Who is that? Oh, it's Chris. Throw your liquor, Chris. Drink it. Eight oh eight. Drink it. Drink it. at the Epicenter Lounge. Hi. No, no, no. Just, just keep it on there. I got it from here. Oh, I didn't notice you there. Let me get his stuff ready. Wow, that's interesting. He got the pea coat, everything, 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 everything. Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Huh? Um, yeah, I can. I think it'll be better. Switch the mics. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm wireless. <laughs> yes, sir. Wireless. Yes, sir. Yeah, do an introduction, man. All right. What's up, y'all? Episode Lounge. We got my man, DJ Quantum. Are you like Holy. What was that? No, yeah. Yes, yes, y'all. What's up? This is Rob Nasty. What's up? Rob Nasty. This is Rob Nasty. Rob Nasty. And right now we're going to go to Pro Post Picks. We did everything on reverse this time, so. Uh, hey, we do it in our show. Yeah, no, yeah, no. So, what we got here is Pro Post Pick. He's a new school cat coming up in the game for the Bay Area. Give it up for my man, Mick Flizzard. Mick Give Fleazy. it up, everyone. Give him a hand. Give him a Yo, hand. All right. Oh, he put on the Bay Area special for that. Cheers. DJ Kwam is on point. We got my man, Marty McFly. What's up, man? Hey, what's happening? Hey. <laughs> he got that Bay Area So check shine, this out. Man. I definitely picked this guy as Profo's pick. Like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be a competition dude, or it can be a competition dude. But a guy that kills it all the way. And I know you guys out there in Korea, Panama, New Jersey, you got to see this guy. Check it out. My man, Marty McFly. How you doing, young blood? Man, I'm just young chilling, blood. man. You already know what it is, man. Oh, that's, if, if you don't know what he just said, he just says he's relaxing right now. Relaxing. I'm trying. I'm, try, I'm going to translate that Frisco slang for, for those Frisco non-Frisco slang. This is not guys. New York slang. This is not down <laughs> south slang. This is Frisco slang. So like, all right, like, check this out. This guy, he does it. He does more than just b boy. <laughs> he does more than just b boy, right? No b boy. Oh, we got a drink. That's right. We said it twice anyway. Like, two times. For he's, that uh, mind. He's known For that as mind. Uh, as a local dance we call turfin. Like I said, we're not just gonna cover just. I'm not gonna say the word because I don't want to take another swig. But watch it. <laughs> oh, someone said B-boy. Oh, so he said, said B-boy. Sticky said B-boy. So. 
You know. You know. So, uh, why don't you tell us your history on dance, period? Like, when did you start dancing? I started dancing, like, 2006, high school. High school? Started freshman in high school. So, you didn't start, like, what were you doing in junior high? Um, well, I, I like dancing all the time, because, you know, Michael Jackson came out for me. So, I started dancing when I was a baby, I guess. But I started serious <laughs> dancing when I was, like, in high school. So, so straight out the womb was like, ugh! Yeah. Silly chain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically. Smooth criminal in smooth, it. You smooth. Me? Isn't that crazy? Because, like, you know, we're from a gen. Well, me and my brother's from a generation where, like, you know, we were there for Thriller. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were there. Yes, yeah, what, what yeah, that's born? right. We were there for Thriller. What year were you born? I was there for Thriller, but I was scared of Thriller. <laughs> <laughs> we were all scared of Thriller, but we still so watched. Did you have the leather jacket and all that? I had the glove. <laughs> all right, all right. That's about it. So were you were you like performing in front of like families and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. Cotillions and stuff nah, like that. Nah, just dancing in front of family, just family parties. Like, hoy and nah, come on, <laughs> show <laughs> your like, show your dancing, dancing. <laughs> show them your dancing, please. Yeah. I know you're dancing with your friends. So what? what so what? So, <laughs> so what? So what turned you on in high school? Like to, like, were you like doing? Were you b boying? Um. B boy, oh no shit, we got drink. <laughs> kind of started at the same time. I was just um, taught all the fundamentals, and then turfing came. I was seeing my homie over there, Willie B, R.I.P. Um, yeah, we he just started gigging, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna start gigging. You know what I'm all saying? Right. So like, so who taught you the fundamentals of what? Of b boy. Of b boy. Of b boy. Okay. Um. Okay, it was a uh, former crewmates, Paws and uh, Key Three. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Key. Yeah, yeah well, if you don't know Key, yeah, yeah, yeah. Key got dope footwork. You know. What I'm yeah, saying? yeah. Like, Paws is like pretty dynamic too. So like, how did that dance like B Boy talk to you? Um. <laughs> oh, B Boy. Okay, again. And I'm out. Oh, yeah. He's out. He's, He's out. out. Yeah, here yeah, already. <laughs> 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 Well, um, B-Boy spoke to me because it was like, you know, hype. It was like just going off and doing crazy stunts, and I was like, damn, I could do that. Like, yeah. So then, and then what, what did Turfin talk to you? Like, how did that talk to you? Yeah, I want to know about Turfin. You know what I mean? Because, like, honestly, because, like, uh, for me, growing up back in the days, we came up with housing. It was like a bunch of Filipinos doing it. Like, we were just gigging, doing it. And then, like, you know, when I look at Turfin, you know, and I was even telling Michael, Mikey Disco, I was like, yo, that shit is just like housing, what we were doing back in the days, but th this is just kids around the hood doing it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, tell me what you, how you feel about that, you know? Well, um, hmm. I started just Turfin just to go off, just to... Uh... Cause I love the music, like the hyphy bay music. I just always loved it, and then just like that pound every time it come on, I just go off. That's about it. And, so, and that's the thing, like if you don't know, if you, you know, you just heard it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you never heard turfing, you first heard it here in the epicenter. For out there people in Seoul, Korea, I know you don't know what it is, but you know, do your research. Look it up on the internet. Hyphy strutting. Hyphy strutting. It's hyphy strutting. It's hyphy strutting. It is hyphy strutting. And the thing is, what Marty's known for out here is that he yeah. he combines the two. And the thing is, you don't do it in like a corny way. You do it in a way that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, it flows. You know what I'm saying? So how? Like, you know, I'm sure like other other turfers try to maybe hit that mark, but for some reason you hit it. Are are any of the other people in that scene interested in what we do as far as b-boying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. B-boying. B-boying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's um. It's a bunch of cats that give mad love to b-boy and all styles in general. They just love it. <laughs> they just love to incorporate everything they can do into turfing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, is it a bunch of different cats doing New York styles, doing b-boy moves, like actual crazy b-boy moves? B-boy yeah. moves. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> that nobody really hits. So yeah, it's, it's crazy. So that's the thing. Like, um, so like the thing is lately too that last week. Uh, you won two competitions back to back. You won uh, uh, the one at Mink on yeah. Friday night. Then you won the All Styles on Saturday night yeah. with Wacko. Yeah. The, the, the All Styles and the All Styles week. Four. So that's three, yo, three in a row. So what's your what's your secret, man? Um, 
just have fun. Just go out oh, there. Oh, he put on music that, and that have Drake. fun. Yeah. Basically, that's what I be doing. Listen up, I'm about right, to right. get dope. <laughs> 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 oh, Rob's drunk already because he's, he's seeing nah, that man, Drake. taking me back to my high school right now. Yo, you're nah, me back man, to my that's what I'm school. saying. This is, the epicenter right is there. not limited in just b-boying. Oh, shoot. These guys, man, these guys are good. Be busted. <laughs> so what you got coming up next? Man, just chilling, seeing what's the next move, trying to save up to go out of state one time. Yeah, nah, for real. Like, this guy needs to go out. Like, yeah, yeah, I've been trying to. Yeah, but, you know, ends is just not cutting it, Femi. <laughs> <laughs> gotta eat. Gotta eat. You do <laughs> gotta eat. Oh, oh. He said you gotta talk. You but you know, you're only going to toke or take a swig whenever we say B-boy. Oh, B-boy. Here we go. Hold on. Let me put it on me. B-boy. <laughs> oh, another one. Another one. Word. All right. Before we wrap it up, do you got any shout-outs out there? Yee. Yeah, shout-out to Knuckleneck Tribe, NWO. Yeah. What's happening, Unknown Fam? Yeah. Universal B-boy, IC3. Yeah. Me, what's happening, SF Bay? Yeah. yeah. He, said, he said, "What's hey. what's going on to all his friends?" <laughs> He's trying to. We're just relaxing. We keep it international, and we're doing a good job. International out here in the San Francisco international. area. Hey. Hey. Oh snap! DJ Quantum, we're gonna take one more break and then we're gonna sign off, y'all. Give yes, it up sir. for Marty McFly, everyone. Give it up. Round of applause. Yes, sir. Let's keep it down because my landlady is going to get mad at me. It's past 10. I. I. Whoa, are you catching this? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be right back. We're signing off. Stick around if you if you dare, dare, dare. DJ Quantum getting evil. Yeah, Basenta. Cha cha cha.
y'all think about LA niggas fighting a little shit? <laughs> yeah, but they're like, they flying out. Because when I was out in the UK, all these fucking UK kids came from one store and they had like, some fucking burgers from fucking LA. They were like, they were like, oh my god! Like, it was some, some bad shit. It's just crazy, bro. All I'm just saying, it was just like, there was like mad kids at a practice spot. BK and YC. Established 1971. Yo, well, yo, you know what? It's all good, whatever. It's relevant. We're giving you game, alright? I'm giving you game, you so Korean motherfuckers. <laughs> Okay, everyone, you know we're about to sign off, but you know what that means for those loyal Epicenter flan- fan flans. Flans. Yes, we have a plan. It's my girlfriend's birthday. We have a cake ready. All right. Believe, boys. See, boys. No, we, we are, but we're going to take requests from the chat room. What are you talking about, man? If if you're if you're brave enough to uh yes, probably devil with more beer. Doing a pro full versus rap rap battle. No, we're not. Okay. Yo, so I'm gonna we're gonna about we're about to sign off. Oh, I'm already signed off. <laughs> we are. We're about to sign off. Hey. So wait, 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 wait. Um, I want to do some uh some drops real quick. People just got in with more beer. But yo, check this out. Uh, coming up. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, oh. Let's see. Um, Yo, come on, come on. <laughs> so once again, we got my man DJ Quantum Headhunters. Give it up for DJ Quantum. Remember, uh, bring it back to us. So remember, this painting right here of Rock Kim could be yours. That's a $5 raffle. We're going to announce the winner next week on next week's show. That's R A W V N A S T Y 1208 at gmail.com. Look up the PayPal account attached to that email. Donate your five dollars and you will automatically get Supreme Geometry by DJ Just Jones at Pro 4 1. You will automatically get that MP3. Um, but you're raffling off for this picture right here. The 36? 30, 30, 30, 30, 28, 36. 28 by 36. 26, whatever. We're drinking. 
B-boy, B-boy, B-boy. B-boy, B-boy, B-boy. Okay, so again, this painting that's value worth $1,000 at art shows is going to be go yours for $5. Why only $5? I will be reposting on Facebook and Twitter about this special raffle. The announcement for the winner will be next week in the bucket. All you have to do is this. Wow, and you have a chance, and we'll pick your name by your email name. And we'll see if you win, and that painting goes to you. All right. Uh, let's see what else is going on. We got other stuff going on. Uh, tomorrow at City Dance Annex from in the San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, I should have had your fire. 8 p.m. to 9.30. I have a special weapons and tactics. Uh, <laughs> weapons and tactics. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Workshop. Don't worry. Special weapons and tactics. This that game was fun. By that time, that game was really fun, though. Okay, um, and coming up November is uh, right here. We got Furious Styles anniversary in Arizona. Big up to my man, House Furious Styles, 20 years in the game. While Rob's in Arizona, I will be in Vancouver. I don't have any of your stuff. Sorry, it's okay. That's okay. okay. I'm gonna plug it anyway. November 3rd, I will be at Vancouver for Art of War, and then November tw uh, 10th. Rain Supreme in Seattle, Washington. I have none of your stuff ready. I'm it's like okay. plugging myself. Because, hey, you're, that's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Because I don't have, I'm not manning the computer. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard work, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Once again, all the proceeds from the from the painting for the raffle will go to our rent and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and getting better equipment so we could be on time. Yeah. Well, you know what? Spend one out there. He said the best. If Epicenter wasn't on, was on time, it wouldn't be the Epicenter. <laughs> and every time, God there, bless you, and this, Spen. Yo, and this is another thing that Spen added. If every time there's a technical difficulty, we have to take a swig. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. I, so we have to already, down this beer. I already, I already cleared my shit. All right. So you know, you know what? Yeah, check this out. I just want to give a shout out to my girlfriend Jean right there. Point the camera. It is her birthday. She did all the cooking today. She turned 21. <laughs> she turned 21. <laughs> Profo, you old dog, you. You are a dog. <laughs> hey, hey, what can I say? <laughs> yo, so yo, let's sign off then. This All is right. Rob Nasty. This is Profo One and our special guest DJ, DJ Quantum, Headhunters, Yeah, J Rock. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Marty McFly. Yes, sir. And the Pee Wee Gallery of the Epicenter. Give it up. Oh, over there, over there. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're. Big up to our sound engineer right now, Man B, and our cameraman, Ahmad. Black Belt Jones, you know how we do. We're still gonna party. We're gonna end the archive, but guess what? If you stick around, we're gonna sing for you. This is the episode. Tune in next week. Win that special, special painting by Manny Fernandez TBB. This has been the epicenter. We're an hour late, but we don't care. I'm in the kitchen.